Sophomore cornerback Alan Richardson of St. Francis joining us right now, and uh, you guys are heading on the road this week, taking the taking the show on the road for the next two weeks. Uh, talk about your mentality going into the Olivet game. Is is it tough to get up for a team like them? I mean, yes, it's tough, but we we approach every week the same because when you think about it, we're still playing a college football team. So no matter what what the record is, we like to approach every game with the same mentality. Like, all right, this is a team we have to get out, you know, play team defense, team offense, and just play Cougar football. And we can look at the schedule just as well as you guys can. We know what's looming next week. How do you guys, how do you guys focus on the game at hand? Well, I mean, like, like, like I said, we, we take it a week at a time. You know, yes, we, yes, we have big games coming up, but this game is a big game because, like, this game is, a, is like, I would like to say a statement game. You know, because we can't come out sloppy and play down to our opponent's level because the opponents we play down the road will get this game film, you know. So we, we, we don't want them to say, all right, well, they're playing sloppy. This is a weakness. This is a weakness. We want to come out strong, like, out the gate fast, just play football. No. Prior to the last couple of weeks, you guys were having to come back in the fourth quarter, you know, put some put some comebacks together. But the last two weeks, maybe, have you guys really put things together? Because you guys have had some pretty convincing wins. Uh, I like to say we, we have. I like to say that we are matured as a team. Because, like, uh, la coming from last season to this season, we lost a lot of starters, like a lot of key players. So everybody was like, all right, well, St. Francis lost their prime. You know, they're, they're immature, they're young, which we were young, but just because we were, we're young doesn't mean we weren't talented. You know, we, we'd come out sloppy, and then we had to, like, have that push in the fourth quarter, you know, to win, which was kind of stressing. You know, yeah, 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 games like that are fun, but we were better than that. And in the last few games, we just, we just came out, you know, played football, snapped a whistle for four quarters. And that's, you know, what happens when we play four quarters, you have convincing wins. Now, last week, I mean, it was no, no secret you guys wanted a little revenge against Missouri S&T. Um, you got the revenge. Did you guys also pick up a lot of confidence with that win? Oh, d definitely. We picked up a lot of confidence. Uh, I know on, on the defensive side, the, the first half, they had 14 total yards first half. And that's a confident boost right there because, like I said, that's, that's a college team, a team that beat us last year. And holding the 14 points in the first half, it's, it's pretty, that's, that's a pretty you know, convincing statement for the defense. And the offense came out and scored, I think, well, like, like, like 21 points the first quarter. So, you know, we, we, we got to rolling fast, and, you know, it, it felt good to, you know, have, have our revenge. And I know the defense always prides themselves in uh, zero points, you know, uh, for the best uh, game. But uh, going into Olivet, uh, what's your guys' goal? I mean, well, like we, we have goals to set up as a defense, you know, like keep our opponent under 21 points, you know, give our offense like so many possessions, force three turnovers, things like that. So like, our, our goal is to hit all those goals. But since it is Olivet, since, you know, we are playing St. X next week, we like to shut this team out, you know, because if you shut out a college team, that, that, that says a lot because, like I said, they are college athletes just like us. So we can't overlook them.